Well, this is the end, beautiful friends. Cartoon Network, the best place for cartoons. <laughs> Not anymore, motherfuckers. So, Cartoon Network, especially growing up, but thinking about my whole life, it's my favorite TV channel ever. But right now it's dying, and I don't know, it could be even dead at this point. But I'm actually glad that Cartoon Network is dying. Yes, I said it. I'm not afraid to say it. Cartoon Network completely abandoned its original fan base. The 90s kids. We were the ones that built up the channel. We were the ones that made the channel popular. That gave it the ratings. That made shows like Dexter's Lab, Ed, Ed and Eddie, all those an er, like anime on Toonami back in the 2000s, like Dragon Ball Z, Yu Yu Hakusho, Gundam G, and you know, the other Cartoon Network shows like Courage the Cowardly Dog. We were the ones that made the channel popular. The Powerpuff Girls, just all of that stuff. The early 2000s, they kept it alive because they still had stuff like Codename Kids Next Door, which is such an underrated show. I mean, a lot of people love it, so I don't know if it's underrated, but it kind of, it, it kind of is still because it was so deep in its lore. It had so many complicated plot lines. Especially compared to the other cartoons that it, it kind of felt like an anime, actually. Kids Next Door was there, Samurai Jack. Like the early 2000s with Grim Adventures of Billy Mandy, this was still an amazing TV channel. Megas XLR, you know, stuff like that. But once the late 2000s happened, I mean, really, once the 2010s, the shitty 2010s decade happened, and kind of the late 2000s was when shit was starting to die. Us 90s kids, we were growing up, so it, but we were still watching it, but they started making all these new shitty cartoons for the 2010s era. And I know these shows have a lot of fans, but I always never liked them, and I always thought they were overrated. Stuff like Regular Show and Adventure Time and the other 2010s Cartoon Network cartoons. All that stuff, it never held a candle to the 90s and early 2000s Cartoon Network cartoons. Never did. Ever. When, it was ha when they were airing and even today. And so, are you all, like, why are you all surprised that Cartoon Network is dying? And I know it's not just because they gave up on the 90s kids, which always gave them the highest ratings, but I understand that the other factor is that cable has been slowly dying. It's a little surprising it's still around, because, you know, streaming and the internet have changed the way people watch entertainment. Whereas back in the 2000s, TV used to still be a huge thing. So that's a big factor. But even still, the biggest reason, though, was because they gave up on their core fan base. And it wasn't just the 90s kids, although it is mostly us. But there were kids that grew up in the 2000s. Like the 2000s kids, they loved Cartoon Network, and they still liked the good cartoons because in the early 2000s they were still airing reruns of Dexter's Lab and stuff so but the problem is they, st they started airing shitty cartoons and it's these cartoons that the young kids nowadays grow up with that I think are pretty bad and I understand that's your generation so I do respect that and it took a long time for me to do so I do respect it but you guys gotta understand your cartoons were never that good Ours were better. The stuff we grew up with. And we were the kids that built up the channel. And kept it alive. And made it popular. And when Cartoon Network completely abandoned the 90s kids. And the 2000s kids to a degree also as well. Then the channel started to die and dwindle. And now it's like a corpse. And it's like of course it is. It's horrible. Because this used to be the best channel for cartoons and it was for the longest time but i guess you know all good things come to an end but it stopped being good after the early 2000s and we saw this happening with toonami dying in the late 2000s when it died and then like that whole thing when it came back the only reason i kept watching cartoon network as i grew older was because of adult swim was because of the when they brought toonami back that's what most of the ratings are that get the highest ratings on Cartoon Network. The stuff on Adult Swim and the Toonami, the new, to the new Toonami stuff. Why? Because the biggest fans of this channel are the 90s kids. 
The group of kids you abandoned, the generation you abandoned, remember that? Remember us? <laughs> yeah. The only reason they survived as long as they did up to this point was because they brought Toonami back. If they never brought Toonami back, they would have been dead like a long time before that. Because Adult Swim and the Toonami com coming back, that's good stuff. That's like the old cartoons they used to air. So it felt like a continuation of the past. And that's why they kept getting ratings. But they kept pushing and airing all these shitty new cartoons. And that's why, you like, the channel is fucking dead now. And good, I'm glad it's dying. If it's not dead already. But, you know, like, I haven't done all the research. It could be dead, it could not be. But that's not the fucking point. The point is I'm telling you why it's failing. This is the reason. And I know I'm biased. I won't deny that. I grew up in a different era. With different cartoons and all kinds of other stuff. But I'm sorry. All of our cartoons were always better. Sorry. Like, if you grew up too young to watch all that stuff, watch it. See what we're talking about. And promote that stuff. You young kids, you gotta realize that that's the stuff that made Cartoon Network amazing. Okay? It wasn't like the later cartoons they started airing and it got crappy as time went on. It did. It had nothing to do with the fact that the 90s kids were growing up. It was just bad. Or mediocre at best. And all these new cartoons they have on Cartoon Network, not every episode is bad. You know, but there's just something about them that where they're way less good than the old ones. And they're mediocre, I think, at best. And, uh, you know, occasionally, every now and then, on the new Cartoon Network stuff, there'll be a gem of a cartoon that comes along that is okay. Or it's a decent cartoon. But it's still not as good as the old ones. And there's a reason for that. It's amazing to me how people kept supporting Cartoon Network like all these years where it was not good. It was bad. Crappy promos. You know, what happened to the, the standard? Like the old Cartoon Network cartoons in the 90s and the early 2000s, there was a standard of quality. It was there and it was all across the board. That's why it was so successful. Everything I'm saying is the same exact thing I could say about Nickelodeon. That's an entire different video. But even still, very briefly, I'd just like to say Nickelodeon abandoned all of its great cartoons they used to have. And then fucking Spongebob kept living on for some fucking reason. That's a whole other video. I'll make it a different time. But still, it's similar. Because they abandoned the 90s kids and the 2000s kids. They did. Don't try to deny it. There's going to be a lot of people that are going to be angry at me. And they're going to be like, well, you're dissing my generation. I, I'm really not. I'm just dissing the stuff you guys grew up with. That's what I'm talking about. You know, like, it's just, it's very frustrating because, <sighs> all right, that's enough. Please uh, uh, like and subscribe if you like my content. Let me know if you think I'm right or if I'm wrong. I'll listen to any argument. I don't care. I appreciate if you watched this video and if you watched it to the end. I really appreciate that. I have a lot of opinions and it's great to vent. So, anyway... My name is SuperPat98, and thank you all so much for watching. Rest in peace, Cartoon Network. Rest in peace.